farmers know all too well that their survival depends on keeping their soils healthy and that animals play an important role in this. On soil that has benefited from manure application, you will see a good development of the millet plants. But you will also see striger plants. Despite the presence of striger, thank God, the millet will continue to grow. But on soil that has not received any manure, the millet won't even flower and nothing will be obtained from it. A changing climate and growing population, along with rising land values and a desire to settle, have led to a shift towards mixed crop livestock systems. Many herder families have started growing crops, while farmers increasingly rear animals of their own. The knowledge of herders and farmers in Niger and Ghana will give us some insights to improve soil fertility and win the fight against Striga, a parasitic weed that causes a lot of damage to cereal crops. Overnight tethering or corralling animals directly on the field returns both manure and urine to the soil. In particular, the urine is rich in nitrogen for your crop. In addition, it doesn't require a donkey cart nor any labor in manure handling, storage and spreading. But when you don't have animals of your own, a good relationship with a herder's family has a lot of benefits. Tethering or corralling is the most effective way to have your fields fertilized with manure. Maintain good relationships with herders, especially if you have no or few animals of your own. Over-fertilized fields lead to loss of nutrients and can damage your crop in periods of drought. Trading excess manure from over-fertilized fields can benefit both farmers and livestock keepers. With penned animals, avoid nutrient loss from urine by keeping animals on a bedding of straw and regularly collecting and composting the manure. Avoid transporting fresh manure to your field as it will spread seeds of weeds, including striga seeds. Put the manure in a pit and either add crop residues to make compost or let the manure decompose. Avoid feeding striga to animals at all times. Hand pull flowering striga plants, even after crops have been harvested, as animals grazing on striga will spread its seeds and give a higher infestation the following season. As you've learned a few things to improve crop livestock tree interactions, make sure to share these insights with your fellow farmers and herders. To fight Striga and obtain a productive soil and crop, trees and livestock play a crucial role.